I I'm just okay I just found out that this can work which is really awesome like I don't have to hold the camera and so you don't have to like like I just that makes you think of like the whole 3D thing like where you have to like back in the day <laughs> that's a new sniper okay where you, like you couldn't turn your head or like it wouldn't be as preferable as it could to be whatever to watch a movie. Like you, and I'm not that kind of person that's just like, I like to like, bleh. okay, but really get comfortable during what you know kind of thing. Um, and it's like one of those movies where like you're in your chair and like you're about to fall off, but you don't. I really don't know what I'm talking. I honestly have no clue what I'm going to talk about right now. Um, somebody, somebody, comment, come on, somebody, somebody. I guess I was watching this one video of this one person, and they're like, I have no idea where to go with this channel. Kind of thing. And I don't know if, how far, I don't even know how far you can see. I was like, I, it's like, it really would be like, I don't know. Okay, but going back to what I was saying was, why do you have to have a theme? Like, why? 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 Do you need to have a theme? Why can't you just make videos and put them on there and see if people like them? Like, I understand the whole law of attraction and da-da-da-da. And if and people don't understand, then they feel like they do it like this and all this. And you, just like how YouTube says, where if you want somebody to like your video, you have to release it every week and have a date and a clear title. And da 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 And I'm not that kind of person go with what other people say I don't really like limitations it's not preferable it yes they do hold good lessons and you can learn from them but no no I truly do not like limitations no it's not preferable at all for me um, but I, I guess I could, I am giving away a whole bunch of stuff. Why would you do that? Somebody could ask me, or rethinking, or just be wondering why I keep talking about it. But I am giving a whole, way a whole bunch of stuff. I've done it before. Like, have you ever done that? It feels so liberating. It really, 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 really does. Honestly, it's like you, you, it's you don't notice it, but you feel like you have a like weight on your shoulder. Shh, sirs. <laughs> but once you give something away, it it takes that weight off of your shoulder because what stuff is is an extension of you. It's so the more stuff that you, you have, the more extension you have going out. It's like when um you deny yourself like when you say I am not that you're denying that part of you slash that part that has the skills and the gifts and what it is that part has so what you're doing if, um, and all truthfulness is like you're you're a porcupine basically you just and yes you're an endless ball of energy and as you as you basically are a battery kind of thing, um, that you are depleting yourself really fast. <laughs> like, you could have, that, that's, one of, that's one of the reasons why people are tired when they slept and they had to sleep for like 12 hours and they still feel tired, because they kind of think, you know, um, you can like call it back and want it, because you can start saying, I am all I am, 
but you got to repair it before you even start asking yourself to come back into yourself that you have to deal with those skills of integrating them and taking in and feeling different and all that kind of stuff because it will feel different. You will feel different. It's not going to not feel different. You will feel different for sure because you're taking in different attributes, different skills, especially when you said, I am not a runner. You're gonna, If you say, I'm not a runner, you're not going to be able to run very efficiently and you're just walking. But if you start running, you're going to start moving faster and easier and as a running kind of thing. But, yeah, but what I was saying was, if you give stuff away, you'll feel really, really, really liberated. Um, also, what I was saying, what I, th that stuff, if you don't use it, going back to the whole denying yourself kind of thing and then not running very efficiently and whatnot, but like, like, like those shoes or that workout machine, basically. If you don't use that workout, if you don't use your stuff and you just let it sit there, it will um, start not, it will block you and you won't be able to have energy flow as much and whatnot. But um, that exercise machine, if you don't use it that often, you will. It You honestly, on honestly are making yourself blocked not allowing that energy to flow if you at least use it once in a while that's a little bit more more preferable but if you don't use it like you should have a rule like i have a rule i do my best to go by it but because the whole emotional attachment and all that kind of stuff to that item you got to be ready and willing to let that go <laughs> um but the rule is if i don't see it and for like however long like you're going back through your stuff like your papers or your photos or something like that I'm not to say you should get rid of your photos but like you spring cleaning or something like that or your clothing like you go in your closet and you like look and you look because you only wear a certain amount of something or something um but you go back to it and you're like oh yeah I, I didn't even remember I have this kind of Thing. <laughs> you know, I've done that before. <laughs> um, I've also done something where I got it. I never worn it. That's the reason why I gave away some stuff. Cause, well, obviously I don't need it. But, and I've always been very abundant, very blessed and blissful in that area. But the key is in allowing the keeping that abundancy coming going keep receiving it is you got to give it away because what you give out is what you get so but if you don't use it get rid of it you know if you don't use it every like not to say make a list of the stuff but every month start looking around give something away you know start thinking okay i don't really use this so i'm going to give it away so you're creating the space for the universe to give you something because you're thinking of what it is to give something to somebody else in the universe because you're giving that out. You're saying give. So the universe is going to give something to you. Um, but like maybe every year at least go through your stuff and say, I don't use this. I don't need it. Because if you don't go off of the fear-based ideology patterns, Basically, and you go off of what a, what the universal laws is and what divine and all that kind of stuff, that you know the universe is so abundant and you know how to use the law of attraction that you, well, regardless of that, that you know that the universe is going to provide for you. If you want it, you're going to get it. Like, like, it might be really silly, but... I used to sleep in a tent. It was my bedroom because I used I lived in like um, a condominium or not a condominium, a studio, and it was my bedroom. It was really cool. I actually did it because um, if you have a tent and it keeps the heat in, so you don't have to like have a blanket over your head because no limitations, right? Um, or at least having options. <laughs> um, that that assisted me with that. But then it got really hot, so why keep it 
if I wasn't going to use it, even though I could have used it. But basically, I got I gave it away. Yeah. And it feels really nice to hear when somebody says, wow, this is, like, brand new. You're, are you sure? Well, not that are you sure, but this is, like, brand new. And not the, not the words, but just the, the sincerity and just the awestruck and magnitude of what it means to just do something out of the ordinary. The random act of kindness kind of thing. Um, yeah, just go for it and give stuff away. Like, you know, the simpler you live your life, the happier you're going to be. Because you don't have to get so stressed out about or feel that characteristic of what it means to be stressed out of somebody's going to break it or i got to keep it protected or it's just building up and I'm not using it and I need to have more space because I have too many things. Instead of getting rid of the stuff, you get more space to get more things. <laughs> but make somebody happy by giving them something. You know, why is it that like I understand the whole um under the whole I need to buy 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 entrainment kind of a thing, but instead of buying something, give some give your stuff away. Like if you don't use it and it's Christmas time and you know they're gonna like it, then give it to them. It's you know, like let them be happy with it. Let them use it. At least then it gets used. You might not want to give it to them. You might give it to them, but not really give it to them, but at least it's getting used, right? So you're not going to have that blocking the energy. Um, like, that would be silly, but it's the same kind of thing. If you don't use it, give it away. And it's the same kind of a thing. If that thing is broken, you're going to be broken. Kind of a, like in the area. And if it has a certain color, it's a certain area during with the chakras. Um, I really hope. Um, I know people can hear me. I'm talking very nicely. And that big fan, that's awesome. I love that fan. I love it. <laughs> um, see, there are things that I don't want to get a for giveaway. But, like, just give it away. Um, okay. Be love, harmony, peace, understanding, accepting, for everybody's walking on the path of what is life. You're walking in, in your shoes, and they're walking in theirs. Who's to say that they're that they are not going through a battle of their life that they need to fight, that they need, that it's epic to them. Being in that it is that to them, and you're in your shoes, how do you know how that person's feeling? Just because they snap at you that one moment doesn't mean it gives you the right to snap back at them. They probably did their best, and it was just so much that when they went to express themselves, that's how it just came out. Because they just needed to express it because they're holding it in. That's one reason why you don't hold things in. You express yourself. So you don't just let it happen. Because you're still responsible for your actions. Regardless if it's preferable or unpreferable or what, no, what, what. You're still responsible because you're the one that did it. So, think about it, 